In this video, we're going to go over my nightstand EDC. This video is going to list all of the items that I store inside or around my nightstand in case of an emergency. I feel that when you're sleeping in bed, you're probably at your most vulnerable. And so it's a good idea to have some items on hand that are quick and ready to go. The three main emergencies that I'm most concerned about while sleeping in bed are fires, earthquakes, and home intruders. So the items that I've included in my nightstand EDC are intended to be used for one of those three emergencies. So let's get started now with this video featuring my nightstand EDC. Let's get started. This video is dedicated to Twitter user LUFC1919, who recently left me a comment asking if I've ever considered making a video about my nightstand. So thanks again, LUFC1919. Here's the video for you. I'm going to be covering a lot of different items in this video. So as always, I've included a PDF document. You can download it by clicking the link in the description box below. It has a list of all the items that are going to be covered in this video, including links to those items if you want to purchase one of them for yourself. I try to always include free downloadable PDFs with the videos that I do that feature a kit with a lot of items in it. That way you could focus on the video itself and less on the specifics of each individual item that's covered in the video. Let's start off first with some of the basic items that most people have on their nightstands. Over the past few years, I've been sleeping with a CPAP machine. The one that I use is the ResMed AirSense AutoSet CPAP machine with heated humidifier. CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure, so it provides consistent air pressure to maintain an open airway during sleep. Since my daughter was born, my wife has been complaining that I've been snoring. So after doing a study which showed that I have sleep apnea, I've been using this CPAP machine. The next item is a clock. Most people rely on their cell phone for their clock and their alarm, but I like having an analog clock as a backup. This might be useful, especially if my phone happens to lose power overnight for whatever reason. This is just an inexpensive analog clock that has silent non-ticking, a nightlight, and an alarm. Next to that, I have a bedside lamp. This particular one is a touch control dimmable table lamp, which is small in size and fits nicely on a nightstand. It has two integrated USB ports for charging your phone, e-reader, and other electronic devices. I find the touch control to be really handy and similar to the lamps that you may see at a hotel. Rather than trying to find the switch to turn on the light, just touch it and it'll turn on. As you might imagine, the lamp needs a light bulb. And rather than go with just your average light bulb, I've been using the GE LED Plus rechargeable backup battery LED light bulb. This light bulb charges when it's on and can be used to provide illumination during power outages with a flip of a switch. Once you turn it on, it'll last for around five to eight hours at its brightest setting. And after five to eight hours, it'll slowly start to dim, but will last for 24 hours total based on my testing. They cost around $10 and I've been including them in various locations in the home just in case of a power outage. Again, the GE LED rechargeable backup battery LED light bulb. I have the lamp and CPAP machine plugged into a wall outlet that's nearby. So just in case there is a power outage, I also have a power out power fail light with alarm by Reliance Controls. This little device costs around $17 and it plugs into your wall outlet. An alarm will start to sound when it detects that it no longer has power. An LED light will also turn on to help provide illumination in the area when the power is out. If the power were to go off in the middle of the night, I want to know about it so I could do things like connect the refrigerator and possibly the fish aquarium to a backup power source. Again, this is the power out, power outage alarm made by Reliance Controls. Highly recommended. To charge my cell phone, I have a USB-C cable. This particular one is the Anchor Powerline Plus USB-C fast charging cable. This is my preferred USB cable that I use in almost all of my kits. I went with the color red for the nightstand kit, just so it's easier to see in the dark. Again, one Anchor Powerline Plus USB-C cable. Now let's start going through all of the items that are stored in the nightstand drawer. The first item included is a personal alarm. This is the Sabre personal alarm with LED light and snap hook. All you have to do is pull on a pin and a 130 decibel siren will start to blare. I include this personal alarm just in case I need to signal for help but can't audibly. It's kind of like my I've fallen and can't get up personal alarm. Believe me, when this thing goes off, everyone in the home is going to wake up. Also in the nightstand drawer, I have some pepper spray. This is the Sabre Red Pepper Gel Spray for runners. This is my non-lethal self-defense tool for intruders, just in case. I prefer the pepper gel over the spray because you don't have to worry as much about the pepper spray blowing back towards you. The gel will stick to the target's skin, will be hard to remove, and will make for them having a very bad day. This one costs around $10, and I include this one in a lot of my kits as well. Probably the most important item in this nightstand drawer is the flashlight. If there's a bump in the night, or even if you're just trying to find something in the dark, it's good to have a handheld flashlight ready to go. I've had this one for a while. This particular one is the Olight R50 Seeker. 
Due to the orange peel design reflector, this one has very good flood for providing illumination during power outages, walking through the hallway, or searching for people or things in the dark. This one's rechargeable via USB and a perfect size for this particular kit. Again, for my smaller handheld flashlight of my nightstand EDC, I have the Olight rechargeable USB R50 seeker. The last items included are a couple N95 masks. These particular ones are the 3M Personal Protective Equipment Particulate Respirator, model 8210. Again, one of the nighttime emergencies that I'm concerned about is fire. So I've included these N95 masks to help provide a little protection against smoke that would occur during a home fire. I've included a few of them just in case I need to hand a couple out during an evacuation scenario. And those are all of the items that I store in my nightstand drawer. Now let's start going through the last remaining items of my nightstand EDC. All these items are stored outside of the nightstand, but are still very important. If you're only going to store one particular item by your bed, you should store some comfortable shoes. If there is an earthquake with a lot of broken glass or another emergency, you're not going to want to run around barefoot. Just ask John McClane from the movie Die Hard. So underneath my nightstand, on top of the safe, I have some shoes. I prefer Solomon brand, which I have several pairs of. These particular ones are the Solomon X Ultra 3 GTX men's hiking shoes. These are my old ones, so I think it's good for a lot of these emergency preparedness kits to just retire some of your older shoes into a kit such as this nightstand EDC and then use your newer shoes when out and about. I think these ones work really great for this particular purpose because they don't have laces. You just pull on the string and then they tighten to your feet. It's kind of like the power laces that Marty McFly had from Back to the Future 2. Again, if you're not going to listen to anything in this video, just include some shoes next to your bed in case of an emergency. Underneath those shoes, as mentioned, I include a safe. For home defense tools, you want to be very, very careful with how you store them and always include them in a safe. This biometric safe is a little on the expensive side, but very high quality and reliable. It's the Verify Smart Safe S4000 Biometric Safe with FBI certified fingerprint sensor, adjacent LED light, self diagnostics, tamper alerts, and auto lock. So you can program multiple fingerprints. It has an internal LED to provide illumination upon opening, and it's highly rated. As you probably imagine, I'm not going to be listing what I store in this for privacy purposes, but if you're going to want to have a home defense tool, I've been really happy with this safe thus far. Again, this one is the Verify. Verify S4000 Biometric Smart Safe, which you could use for storing your home defense weapon. Also stored next to the nightstand, I have a larger flashlight. So while I have that Olight flashlight for walking around the house at night, I also have a larger flashlight stored next to the nightstand for providing illumination outdoors. I've had this one for several years and it's quite the spotlight. This one is the Through Night TN42 Rechargeable Searching Spotlight. This one is a great thrower and is basically a Star Wars Death Star beam that you could use for shining on anything at a great distance. My bedroom's on the second floor, and so if I need to look in the backyard, this one works great for that. Again, for my secondary, larger flashlight, I have the Through Night TN42. And the last item included as part of this nightstand EDC is a fire extinguisher. I have mine stored behind the curtain, but right next to that nightstand. This particular one is the Amarex B402 5 pound ABC dry chemical class ABC fire extinguisher. This is my favorite all purpose fire extinguisher due to the quality and cost. One of the concerns I have while sleeping is fires. So that's why I have a fire extinguisher sitting next to my nightstand and ready to go. There's a lot of other brands that you could pick for a fire extinguisher. I recommend finding the ones that have a metal handle because I found that most of the time those ones could be refilled after use. But again, in case of a fire, I've included the Amarex 5 pound ABC fire extinguisher. And that concludes all of the items that I'm currently storing as part of my nighttime EDC. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. The majority of the items that are included as part of my nighttime EDC are intended to just provide me with peace of mind when I'm sleeping to know that I have some certain items on hand and ready to go in case of an emergency. Of course, you should have some additional layers to your home emergency preparedness measures, such as having smoke detectors, an alarm system, security cameras, motion alarms, and more. The items as part of the nighttime EDC are the last line of defense. As I mentioned, I provided a PDF document. You could download it by clicking the link in the description box below. It has a list of all the items, including links to those items that were covered in this video. Please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comment section regarding this video. What kind of items do you store in your nightstand EDC? And what emergency events are top of mind for you while you're sleeping? Thanks again for watching this video and stay tuned for more emergency preparedness videos. Sleep tight. Mm -hmm.